How can my vampires hide in public? So, my vampires are somewhat different. Here's a short summary, though it might be a lot to take in. Vampires are created from humans by malfunctioning robotic headcrab masks. Vampires' original purpose was to be perfect soldiers, and so they possess biological immortality, perfect regeneration, no scars, regrow limbs, and peak human physical characteristics. However, they have to eat a lot, though a lot less compared to what they can do, and can't be in the sunlight for too long without becoming significantly weakened and also risking super cancer, thanks to the designers who scrapped melanin, making vampires look albino pale, because it was bloat, and made the synthesis of vitamin D harder. Garlic and garlic bread works against vampires because their noses are hypersensitive. The weak to sunlight thing doesn't matter for soldiers in skin-tight leather suits, don't ask, but there's this poor rich aristocrat girl, 16, who just saw her parents and herself getting murdered and only survived because the blood and viscera sprayed everywhere, including the mask, tacky prop at the time. Edit. The aforementioned mask is capable of locomotion, think of a really scary bug. It seeks out human targets and latches onto their face. Then, it wraps its legs around the head and with the help of hundreds of needles, injects nanomachines directly into the brain. These machines are responsible for turning the human into a vampire. The process finishes during nighttime and can't be reverted. Once finished, the mask detaches and crawls away, seeking out new candidates. And just to be clear, the masks are ancient technology if the perverted creator and being mistaken for a tacky prop wasn't a telling sign. What is she supposed to do when Van Helsing comes into town? Oh don't look at me like that, I'm just your average aristocrat orphan who miraculously survived being stabbed in the chest 53 times with a hunting knife and since then, is wearing a sombrero whenever going outside. Sure, you probably feel sorry for a nice young lady who just lost her entire family and was non-consensually turned into Bella Swan, Helsing doesn't. So, aristocracy seems to be the most targeted group. A vampire usually can only rely on themselves, and we're in the Edwardian era. Also, there's Helsing and his lackeys, who know what to look for and are above the law and money. How can an aristocrat, who became a vampire against their will, disguise themselves when walking among humans without risking being caught? Go clubbing. She's an aristocrat and the only surviving scion of an aristocratic family. It's probably safe to say that she's pretty well off. So she can have whatever eccentricities she wants. If she wants to sleep all day and party in the evening, she can do that, and she doesn't need to go out in public in daytime because she's tired of people recognizing her with pity in their eyes or the paparazzi hounding her when the light's good. Makeup deals with pallor, and if you're going to dance clubs, heavy makeup seems apropos. 